Hello and cheers. Welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Lauren and today I am reacting to Max Wars, An Incorrect Summary of Ultra Kill, Part 1. Um, I have with me my lovely trusty margarita. It is a tequila day today. Uh, this is just a classic margarita, um, but you can always change yours up a little bit. I didn't add any agave nectar to mine. Mine is just tequila, triple sec, uh, sour mix, and lime. If you want to sweeten it up a little bit, add some agave. Agave is amazing for sweetening up a drink. You can also um, change the flavor profile of a margarita very easily just by literally adding a different fruit juice. Um, lime, I would say keep, at, keep the lime in there just because it definitely helps uh, like sh with the sharpness of the flavor and half the point of a margarita is a little bit of sharpness. Um, but like, I love to add like a little pomegranate liqueur or, um, like a little, you know, just strawberry margaritas or a thing like, um, melon is good. Um, uh, passion fruit. Oh my God. A passion fruit margarita is so good. It's really refreshing. Um, but in my case, all I had was the classic stuff. So that is what I have made today. Um, and I, like I said, I'm kind of, I have no idea what Ultra Kill is. I have no idea what this is, no idea what to expect, except for the fact that it's Maxor. So my brain is about to bleed, certainly trying to figure out what's going to happen in this video. Um, we're going to make a quick drinking game. Um, again, Maxor stuff. If ever I uh, am say something incredibly stupid, that's on you to take a drink. And it's also on you to tell me later in the comments how many times I said something incredibly stupid. Um, <laughs> you also will also drink um, if I, the Nostalgia Critic shows up because I keep seeing him in like every other one of Max Wars videos. The Nostalgia Critic is just there and I don't know why. So we drink for a while, Nostalgia Critic. Um, we drink if I sort of make an air raid silent siren noise or just like a, ah, you know, like a horn um, noise because occasionally uh, he surprises a laugh like that out of me. So we'll drink for that. Um, yeah, let's go. And like, if ever I like enjoy a joke so much that I have to go back and rewatch it because there's a lot of rewatching that has to happen with some of this Max War stuff just because he puts so much into his videos and I never catch it all. People may get mad at me when I don't catch it all. And I'm like, look, how many times do you have to watch it to catch it all? I watch it once. I'm like, well, twice, I guess. Then I catch more when I go back. But I'm like, this is, I can't. So anyway, let us begin. Also, this video gets me a Man kind of, okay, fair. Machine, you will answer now to the will of God, for I am the righteous hand of the Father. What does that even mean? I am its I enjoy world. You call shooting a coin a martial art? This is Ultra Kill. It is a game. You can play it. I hope you are not startled by the screaming. Set in the distant future of 2019, we play as the world's first vampiric Nikon, programmed with one singular goal: kill Margaret Thatcher. Thus, we embark on our journey into the deepest, darkest pits okay. of hell, where we can find normal things that make the game very fun, featuring such polygonal challenges as Crash Bandicoot and uh, puzzles of color. The devs are a little bit eccentric. For some backstory, this game is loosely based on a 14th century fan fiction about God. Therefore. What you are about to see is canon to the Christverse. I will not be accused of blasphemy again. With that being said. So like Dante's Inferno. Right? Like it's a fan fiction about like religion. What were they up to in the 14th century? The game goes harder than diamonds. And after this video, I hope you will see why. You know, if you can see it all. Don't cut that shit out. Don't you tell me I'm so good. I'm gonna hold your <laughs> That's the thing he, he says. Literally just Crash Bandicoot. Hell is full. Oh. Uh, hey guys, it's me, Maxor. Welcome back to, uh, fucking Undertale. So the game begins in a hallway, and I do not have permission to use the restroom. When I am lost, I always keep a lookout for my two best buddies. A 
gun. Smith nice. and Wesson. So the game oh. just kind of gets going immediately. I have interrupted elevator music time. This level begins as a tutorial, primarily focused on executing basic mechanics as well as be disabled, preferably from a high drop. In this game, explosions and gore are plentiful, but as per my design as a sentient fucking GoPro, my gears must be greased with the blood of the innocent. My power source is Vampire Piston, which means the more blood, the better. It is the only thing I know for heal. There will be bloodshed. And as far as healing systems go, this is the best one because it forces the player to actually play the game to restore their health. Huh? But that's enough about mechanics because it's time to fight the uh. Oh no. Oh god. It's the funny rock. Post this rock to instantly become funny. I think my copy of Elden Ring is broken. <laughs> Hey there, my fellow girls. Welcome to level two. We have Amazon. Here you'll buy the most important item in the entire game. That's right, the power to throw coins. Because why aim at enemies when you can aim at a target the size of a fucking coin? This shit is amazing. The hit is guaranteed regardless of the coin's location, even if that coin's location is space or just the inside of an enemy a few times. But besides that, the mission is pretty... The mission is pretty normal. In fact, it's a little too normal. One could call it suspicious. Have you heard of the hit game Among Us? We have to vent like the sus imposter. It's the only way to get the lean skull, which I assure you is required to access the secret door, which apparently just ends the level. Now, as I would soon learn, there is a reason this is a secret mission, because now it is able to escape. Oh, it's my YouTube career. I am ah! in great danger. Do not Google Danger Force Season 2 Episode 1. In this level, like we need that to noise. find our way through the back rooms without making too much noise. Because oh. if you can hear it, then it has definitely heard you. My favorite part is the persistent darkness and a horrifying droning noise as it creeps and it really ups the entertainment factor. Now, of course, you can shoot it, but that will only set it back. It is inevitable. Do you have any games on your phone? Let's just, uh, get the fuck out of here. I no longer wish to play in the Markiplier maze. Shuji, <laughs> crank that soldier boy. Okay, level three. Let's just uh, take a look at the catalog. Never mind. So to make it through this mission, we have to use our coins with a lot of nuance and subtlety, just like Ted Kaczynski, ascending up the normal staircase very competently. We meet the only problem that money cannot solve. That's right, road construction. And for that, we're going to need high explosives. Normally that's unavailable unless you try hard enough. Oh Jesus Christ, it's the feds. They're here to shoot my dog. This is the Jason enemy, notable for his geometric style headgear and a uh, free shotgun. His AI is a single Held organism. I want you to fucking guess how I fought him. Following this fight, we Coins. acquire our next weapon, the Remington Grenade Launcher, which we can use to finally eliminate obstacles to progress. But that isn't what's important about the shotgun. What is important is that I can, uh, punch the bullets. I like that. You see, punch my Ultra bullets. Kill is a game that lets you parry all kinds of attacks, and shotgun shells just so happen to count as a projectile. So, uh, guess what that means? I'm going to mail these pipe bombs with same-day shipping. It makes the bullets go faster. I really hope you don't mind, but, uh, I'm going to use this for the rest of the game. And if that hurts your eyes a little bit too much, don't worry. It can get worse. Upon diligently researching the, uh, larger calibers, we make the discovery that I can load my shotgun a bit more than necessary. That's right, we've made a suicide vest. I'm going to join my racist uncle in Valhalla. I find this mode very useful for, uh, launching myself into the minus dimension. The, uh, the Linus dimension. Does anyone need some tech tips? Uh... Is he okay? Oh my god, he's hitting the gritty. Oh, I see. This is one of those platforming levels. My favorite platform is YouTube. Abandon hope all ye who enter here. That's a weird way to spell Twitter. What the fuck? You have Uno. No, I don't. It comes free with your Xbox. I don't have Uno. You have fucking Uno. Bruh, it's a new pit bull to euthanize. I know he has a basketball, but I was not expecting him to dunk that shit. This man is actually bawling. He caught me wearing them fake J's. Now, this may not be a long fight, but what is there teaches a valuable lesson to the player. The lesson is up. Uh, use crack. You know, like me. Whenever I use the computer, do not under any circumstances touch the ground. So oh. after dodging his many dribbles and dunks, we eventually reach halftime, causing SpongeBob and the crew to enter the arena and sing a song. Oh my god, it's my two favorite basketball players, Ornstein and Smo. I I didn't even know you could play Uno 2v1. So you do have fucking Oh no, I've put him in his red state. He has absorbed the power of Ornstein. Looks like I'm gonna have to use my secret weapon, money. Coins! Never fails. Shinji, I really like how they filled this room with uh, more statues. It is finally time to enter the elevator, also known as California. Hell has got to be a good time. After all, it's where my subscribers live. Oh man, I bet it's got lakes of blood and shit. Oh, welcome to hell. We have a uh, 
realistic bird noises, and also the uh machine. I have taken a selfie with the funny rock. All right, never mind. Honestly, this level is pretty chill. I spent most of it delivering human skulls, but you know what I find really relaxing? Construction equipment. After all, the nail gun is great for putting people to sleep. Honestly, I wish I had more of an explanation, but it just kind of liberates their insides. This rifle is uh not chambered for nuance. Hey guys, I'm Ian from Forgotten Weapons, and today we're going to be killing a man. Just uh, don't give the statue anything. That actually worked. I really hope this isn't what I think it is. Oh no, it's worse. I have to do fucking puzzles. Oh Max, you should play Ultra Kill. I'm sure you'll love all 26 of the puzzles. Here's a puzzle for the game developers. How long until I reach your house? And here I thought the level was supposed to be relaxing, but it's just so... Oh, they're not even cooked right. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Oh! Who do there I we go! Fucking... Oh god, never mind. That shit is harder than Ganyu's hips. So, uh, welcome to the fire enemy. It has this unique ability called the fucking jump scare. And no, I cannot turn off the screaming. They were designed without self-preservation. You know what? I don't want to go to the family barbecue. I think I belong in the, uh, secret cartel tunnels underneath El Paso. How's about we just let ourselves in? Oh cool, it's, a uh, an abandoned asylum. Can't wait to see what lives here. Yay! Cancerous what? rodents. It's a regular sized rat. He's celebrating yet another Rats. birthday bash. Sir, s stop resisting. It had to be done. Let us never speak of this again. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. A very Welcome cancerous to the real boss fight in the game. You actually have to play it. Chuck E. Cheese is no longer fucking asking. How about we just, uh, vibrate it until its organs explode? I'm going to forget this is here. Moving on from the Disney business model, we- There's some very interesting gameplay in this. Enter a challenge that offers us a choice, blue team or red team. Comment your team below. And if you do both, you get to fight whatever this shit is. I love being able to understand my screen. Really sorry if you thought this video was going to have a bit rate. Anyways, to finish this level, I chose to take the harder route because as a gamer, it really hits my erect penile pecker. Oh, hey, look, it's a skull. Oh God, go, go gadget coins. My favorite detail is that if you do the hard route, the game just drops you inside the easy route. So you're forced to do both of them. Nothing a little bee hopping can't fix. Man, what a nice looking rock. Hey guys, oh. What is going on and oh no. Oh my it's god. Fucking handicap. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the Hideos Mass Fight, also known as Your Mom. Got him. Now, I could spend time explaining this boss, but that requires that I understand it. This shit is goddamn incomprehensible. I want to congratulate the devs on the first non-Euclidean enemy. Of course, that is implying that you can see him, because the grapple attack makes that a little difficult, just like doing literally anything else. So if you do get grappled, get ready to convert, because God can't help anymore. And because this boss has armor, the only way to damage him is to hit him in his bell icon, preferably before he slams that subscribe and smashes is that like button? I want to thank Lord DPN God fucking damn it. Kids, please never become YouTubers. Top 10 moments in Ultra Kill, number one. You're fucking dead. I finally understand it now. In order to beat the YouTubers, we have to tap into their only weakness. Children. I'm sorry, but it's the only way. Go, go, gadget allegations. Jesus Christ. I don't think his channel's gonna recover. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you walk in. I was busy watching random unprotected security cameras. Welcome to Claire de Lune. Such a calm level. Very peaceful. Do not knock on the doors. I really appreciate the- uh, Oh shit, watch out, I'm coming through. The ambience. For you see, the church demands a sacrifice, and the only way to appease it is to provide to me these bodies three. To do this, we have to calmly and meticulously break into your house. And after gathering all three of the balls, we finally unlock the power to jump through the window. Good to see that I'm using my time wisely. Oh, fuck, here I come. There what he the is. <laughs> Hi. I thought it would be obvious, brother. After all, I am you, but stronger. You aren't the only one who's after blood, brother. Welcome everybody to the race war. It's a little bit fast, you know, just kind of quick. I mean, look at this shit. The fight is so fast, it's editing itself. What side are you on, Bloods or Crips? I will be joining the war on drugs on the side of the drugs. The gimmick for V2 is that he is completely wacko. He moves like you, shoots like you, and everything that you can do, he can do better. He can do everything better than you, except dodge.
because that would be weird. Needless to say, this fight is very difficult, mainly because V2 is so fast he's goddamn omnipresent. Good luck trying to fucking heal because hitting him up close is a Parkinson's simulation. I just want to fucking shoot him. Human brains are not fucking built for this. We're supposed to be threshing wheat and dying of smallpox. Looks like you've gone a little rusty, brother. Oh. <laughs> I think that something is wrong with my copy of DMC. There's this annoying motherfucker inside of it. You think you can best me? After all- Shut up. Overall though, the beauty of this fight is that it is simple but complicated. Simple in huh. that he has your moveset, but complicated in that he has your moveset. Don't worry though, you'll get a lot of practice with him over and over and over again. The beatings will continue until morale improves. You're just a fucking Nika! Okay, I get it, but honestly, that's what makes this fight fun. We choose to kill V2, not because it is easy, but because he won't stop talking. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a GoPro to throw into the fucking sun. Go, go, gadget car bomb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna call that one a draw. Team Rocket is pissing off again! Bye! <laughs> uh, it looks like he <laughs> forgot his arm. I don't know if this is legal in California. So the new arm is a bit funky, a bit monkey. It comes with many utilities that you don't want, but what it is good for is reducing the enemy into their base particles. You better not catch these hands because now they're chambered for 12 gauge. The only downside is that, uh, you can't hit your bullets anymore. Aww. So honestly, it's fucking dog shit, and I'm going to kill my infant son. Welcome, everyone, to the Lair of Lust. I am already installing Azerlane. It's this game about chips, and you can marry children. So after many fistings in the sewers, we make it to the bounce pad and enter a... Cyberpunk. That's right, we're in Night City now. Wake Apparently. the dog up, Samurai. <laughs> Here we've got all the amenities of a dystopia. Street Warfare, Amazon Training Video, Nightmare Obelisk, The Corpse of King Minos, and of course, Death Trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> Um, having fun there, guys? Because I'm having a blast. V, I've got a job for you. Your Windows machine has virus. So far, every level has introduced to us a new word. You know, like Dora. Words like anger or fear come to mind. Well, this level's word is verticality, which is a very welcome addition. You know, when the enemies work, I have discovered their only weakness, slight altitude difference. This place will see us ascending the MC Escher Tower, contemplating the sweet embrace of death, and eventually descending down the, uh, shaft of lust. You have no idea how much self-control it takes to not reference Genshin Impact. The theme of verticality continues again as we make- More than he has, apparently, because he definitely just referenced Genshin Impact. I'm glad I've seen that video already. You have no idea how much self-control it takes to not reference Genshin Impact. The theme of verticality continues again as we make our way through an actual nice neighborhood. They, uh, gentrified the zombies. So to beat this level, we have to throw balls of copper into the power lines. It also has my new favorite enemy, Pepsi Man. But the most important thing in this level is the railgun. Oh my god, <laughs> this is the best thing in the entire game, as you can see. And it comes in three unique flavors, Piercing Gatorade, Baja Blast, and of course, the Drill. Nobody uses the drill, but that is just the beginning, because this shit has tech. You can bounce it off coins, bounce it into the stratosphere, bounce it off grenades to nuke the planet, and most importantly, instant kill everything in the game by bouncing your shot three times. I would explain this mechanic to you, but we would have to consult the diagrams. If you would like to know more, all you have to do is watch an 18 minute YouTube video. Okay, seriously guys, where's the uh, where's the exit? I want to get off Mr. Minos' wild run. Hello everyone, Tom Scott here, and today I am trapped at the south side of Chicago. Alright guys, welcome back to uh, uh, sheer heart attack. It has no weaknesses. This level is a lot like the others in that you cannot escape his gaze. It has the kind of verticality where you're locked in a corn maze. You see, the layer is a metaphor for my sanity. Always dropping. Man, what a nice looking city. It has so much texture. I can't believe Minos can use creative mode. Fucking doors stuck. D -d door stuck. Here we meet our newest enemy. Oh god, what is that? Its main abilities are teleportation, as well as making me feel a certain way. If only it wasn't annoying as fuck. And once dispatched, she will, um, she will explode. You know what? All this violence is making me crave some secrets. But don't worry, this won't be anything like the last two. Those were not painful enough. All we have to do is track down the United States power grid. That way we can skip the level again. This shit always ends well. No, no, you, you can't do this to me. I don't, I, I, I don't want to be here. I think now's a good time to mention that you can buy body pillows from the Ultra Kill store. She tells you about how you're late for school and uh, the human mind is an evolutionary maladaptation. We need to destroy the left wing using facts and logic. Hello everyone, Dennis Prager here. God has told me the age of consent is too high. So after we finish debating liberal snowflakes on the internet, we finally decide to fix the aspect ratio. At least one of us has purpose in life. By the way, I'm 
I'm playing an action game. So, uh, welcome back to the climax. Okay. This level takes place in the wonderful New York Metro system. We're here to investigate reports of the Ratmen. Also, uh, the train is fully compatible with my auto clicker. They just forgot to set a cooldown. Don't worry though, it is literally faster to B hop instead. Gotta work on my trainless percent speed run. I don't like the implications of this. Welcome to the uh, boss fight. King Minos needs help putting his fist in a narrow cavity. It's a very simple fight, mostly just dodging his DK bongos. There really isn't much room to dodge here, and Minos can juju on that beat. But ultimately, every attack is fair and telegraphed, which is more than I can say for some games. All we have to do is help him find his car keys. Go, go, gadget, revolver. Don't worry, I'm no stranger to fistings in the subway. All we have to do now is, um, offer a whole pizza to the rat god. I'm sure he'll be cheesed to meet me. Excuse me, sir. You're just in time for the event. What event? Wiener Compression Day. The fuck? What is up, everyone? It's your boy, Bugs Life. And today we're going to be living the 510 experience. King Minos is uh, kind of a big deal around here. Killing him is going to be a tall order. This battle is deceptively simple, since his main attack is literally just punching you. These hands have graduated from hitbox to hit tesseract, but that isn't all. Call right now and I will find you. Turns <laughs> out, Minos can summon the power of the void, which upon contact reduces your HP to one. Y yo, hold up. Did my man just give me AIDS? The longer the icon of sin is on earth, the stronger he will become. Of course, this is all before the parasites begin shooting at you, because there are just too few things in this fight, and not enough of them give me nightmares. I think your cells are a bit too far apart, but I fixed that for you. Oh my god. This is the kind of game where, at every possible turn, I have said to myself, wouldn't it be cool if? And the answer is always yes. So when I tell you that, um, you can parry this man, it's basically the rule instead of the exception. This is the coolest thing you can do in a video game. It makes me feel like an anime protagonist. Game devs, take notes. This is how you send the fun ceiling into the fucking stratosphere. And also, um, myself. You know it's a good boss when it has a space program. In summary, you have to try to make this fight boring, and even then, you might not succeed. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a dead horse to beat, and his name is Minos. <laughs> Oh no, I don't think I like where this is going. I don't either. Hey guys, welcome back to the protagonist shaped bulge in Minos' stomach. We've got smelly enemies. We've got belly enemies. We've got to get out of the small intestine. Yeah, this looks, uh, medically accurate. Man's got eyes on the inside. This level is an absolute gauntlet, specifically made to test your anatomical knowledge. You really have to understand the game inside and out. Ah yes, my favorite part of the body, Winchester Mystery House. This shit is like Nutty Putty K for Osmosis Jones. This is definitely me when I fill the double gold cup with the Slurpee. I appear to be trapped inside of my mind prison. This is just like Persona 5. Now, I know that Minos' polygonal stomach may seem like a weird idea for a level, but at this point, I'm used to it. I can never take back the things I've seen. It is a perfect way to visualize our descent into irreality. And honestly, I can't think of a more perfect metaphor for this video. Why, yes, I do edit my videos to kill small animals. Why do you ask? Hey there, my flesh fans. Welcome back to the, uh, cool game where things are normal. <laughs> Very normal. What? Turn back now. I think I'm getting a Zoom call from God. <laughs> For what purpose do you trample upon this palace machine? I mean, why do you? To question God is heresy machine. But for your information, I am driving the corpse of King Minos like a fucking Mazda. Okay. It appears that your choice is made. As the righteous hand of the Father, I will beat you back into silicon. I think someone has daddy issues. I do not have daddy issues. I am a special fucking boy. I will write the final story in your blood machine. Welcome everyone to Bible Study Time. We're learning about stoning. The important lesson when fighting Gabriel is that you can't fight on his terms. In fact, don't fight him at all. Uninstall the game. This angel is faster than you, hits harder than you, teleports behind you, and is overall a massive sweat machine. I wonder if it hurt when he fell from heaven. Yes! Yes, it fucking did! 
It is very important to understand that Gabriel isn't an ultra kill boss. He's Senator Armstrong. Pure aggression is not going to cut it this time. We need to use patience and also open heart surgery. No, uh... This means that learning his attack patterns is key, and so is abusing iframes like a drunk stepdad. This copy of Elden Ring is fucking weird. You may notice it's difficult to keep my camera on him. That is because this fight is psychotic. Every combo can be dodged if you are good at the game. But as for me, Gabriel beat my ass so hard that I saw Jesus, and he was hitting the cleanest gritty I'd ever seen. You are a demon circumcised machine! Excuse me? And if that wasn't enough for you, Gabriel has an entire second phase where he delivers God's judgment through the barrel of a gun. If you thought this fight was fast, then you haven't seen shit. I want to introduce my new OC, Shadow the Hedgehog. You are cringe, machine! You are not on the What are you fucking saying? Overall, though, this fight really makes you feel like you're fighting an angel, because this shit is an act of God. But personally, I think it's better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. Plus, I already have a god, and his name is Money. How can this be bested by this? This girl? I'm actually a Nikon. You insignificant fuck! This is not May your L's be- Who does he get to do, like, the silly voices? Like, the silly, uh, non-in-game dialogue? Many and your bitches few. Has this one abandoned the creator? Heresy! It is unworthy of the holy light. Gabriel, you stand accused of losing <laughs> to a fucking camera. But counsel, my devotion is absolute. The machine was enough. You have 24 hours before the Father's light leaves your body, and then you will die a husk, a thing. I suggest that you prove your faith. Do you understand? Yes, Council. Good. Oh, he's telling me. Gianni... Matragano as Gabriel, Jimothy Ross as Cerberus, West as V2, Ambiguous Amphibian as Minos, and Zanny as Mass. Fun! Good job, guys! Okay, great. So that was an incorrect summary of Ultra Kill Part 1. Um, uh, apparently it is Dante's Inferno, which... I... I uh, probably should have realized that before I, I said it. I don't know if he said it before I said it. I don't know. At some point uh, in that middle bit, I wasn't paying attention, apparently. But anyway, um, I have never actually read Dante's Inferno. Um, somehow, I was in like the one class in high school that never had to read it. Like everybody else that I... I know has had to read that book in high school English class. And I was like, we did not, we did not read that book in my high school English class. Um, so I, I have very limited understanding of that particular, uh, story. Also, I, I wasn't like Catholic growing up and I don't know if that helps to be Catholic, to know a little bit about Dante's Inferno. Um, I don't know. I have no clue. Cause like I said, I have very limited knowledge of it, but, um, it is interesting to see the different, uh, the, the, the reimaginings of the rings on this particular level, um, on, on this very interesting premise. Um, so that's been fun for me so far. It's like, even if I don't understand necessarily like the actual Dante's Inferno, um, it is always fun to see, uh, different interpretations of the rings of hell. I always enjoy that. And it's always a little different. Um, this is interesting very strange um but I, again I'm, I'm enjoying it um again with the it's sometimes hard to tell it's like is this how it actually is in the game or is this just max wars editing because i think sometimes it seems like it's a mix of both which is also interesting so again max War does an amazing job with this editing stuff and i'm sure i'll catch things that i've missed um like in the in the actual video later because i always catch stuff later i'm like oh man i wish i'd mentioned that i wish i'd said something but i oh i i i 
It does not always happen for me. Um, if you want to see more of this kind of content, make sure you like, comment, uh, subscribe, let us know. And if you want to determine some of the content that we uh, watch here, become a patron. Um, you get to participate in polls. You get to have a, a more say in what it is that we watch. You get to see early content. You get to see unedited stuff. Lots of fun perks to become a patron. So for now, though, that is it for me. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.